I wouldn't say it's safe. I don't know why I feel safe. Maybe because nothing's happened to me yet. So that was dumpstered. These were dumpstered. They literally were shitting on things in there. But then when you go in here, it kind of looks more like an, uh, like an aquarium. You are more than welcome to come up. Okay, cool. Slab City is an entirely off-grid community about three hours outside of Los Angeles. On last week's episode, I arrived at Flamingo Camp and met with Slip. It can be a dangerous place and it can be a hard place to live. That little shack with the t-shirt on it, uh -huh. that is our shitter. Today, we're meeting Nova, the head of Flamingo Camp, and their girlfriend Lola, to see more of the land and to hear about what it's really like to be in charge of a camp in Slab City. I know you, I recognize you from your Instagram. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys do the cool, like, knit work and stuff, right? Yeah, they do. I'm just the model. <laughs> oh, okay. We're learning, though. Yeah. I didn't know which, I didn't know which one of you were, was the one who actually did the art, but it's you. Oh, yeah. Um, it's so good. Where's your accent? Where are you from? I'm from Quebec. Oh, okay, cool. I was excited to meet you because you're, like, the head person in charge here, right? Um, I was, but I'm trying to step away from that. But you're the one who, like, can. invented... Yeah, Flamingo. I started it, I guess. I mean, kind of. I just had my trailer out here and then people That's wanted it. to come hang out and then it just became a thing and then we started building and... No, that's you should be so proud of yourself. It's a huge... I feel like that's... It's a, a place for people to come. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Yes. So this is, oh, this is it? This is my... Oh my gosh, nice. Okay. Yeah. I try to keep it normal looking for... Just the outside, Moving though. around. <laughs> yeah, just the outside. Does it actually run too or not? Oh yeah, this thing's great. This is what, how we get around. Oh my gosh, nice. Yeah. You just go oh my gosh. The cat later. Okay. Oh, it's so cool. Thank Hi, you. Katie. It smells so good too. I, know, I had to do the incense. Like, <gasps> oh, <gosh. laughs> yeah. oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. Thanks. I love you, both your brains. It's just so colorful, but it's all cohesive at the same time. I'm Nova. I've been out here 10 years seasonally. I'm Lola. I've been here for four years. Thank you so much for inviting me into your space and <laughs> letting me be part of this experience because it's been really beautiful and I, I just appreciate taking, you guys taking the time to invite me in here. <laughs> what made you want to come to Slab City in the first place? I was living in a van with like seven bums, you know, seven hobos. We all lived in a tiny van and then they're like, let's go out to the desert for um, a party at this squat. And I get out here and it's like a whole little community. Six or seven years ago, I plopped a trailer here. And when did you know that you wanted to turn this into a queer community? It kind of just happened. <laughs> I was going to say that, yeah. Yeah. My <laughs> friends started coming out. They just started coming back every year. It's been, this is the fourth season. Mm -hmm. And it is free to live in Slob City, right? Mm -hmm. To find a spot, you have to talk to the, kind of the person that owns that area. For instance, you in this area. I suppose. I mean, yeah, we all have our little boundaries of like, this is our camp, we claim it, you know. But anyone but... could essentially be like, no. How does that work if someone's like, no, I still want to live here? Actually, there's this old guy that parked over here and was super homophobic. And so like <sighs> Gaia literally just busted out her big speaker and just started playing like, I don't know, just a bunch of gay music, like That's super amazing. loud facing him. And then he drove off. Do you feel safe in this community? I do, but I wouldn't say it's safe. Maybe it's I don't know why I feel safe. Maybe because nothing's happened to me yet. But then when you go in here, it kind of looks more like an, uh, like an aquarium. Aquarium vibes. Because it's got the whole... <sighs> oh, yeah. The creepy the... fish. Oh, I found those at a thrift store for like a dollar each. I love your color palette, too. Like, it's so eclectic, but it just it's so calming still at the same time. It's not like... It doesn't feel um, chaotic. Oh. You know what I mean? Like it feels like it all makes sense together. Like some anime cave or something. I love it. It's so cozy. <laughs> I can imagine you guys are just like chilling in here. Yeah, we got our little little iPad holder so we could watch movies. Oh my gosh, that's so that is so kid, creative. Like a stupid little kid TV screen. How do you even think of things like that? These are little cat beds. And do you with know memory you... foam? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Bathroom's cute. Ugh. Try to make it smell good. Yes, it smells smell great it. in here. It smells like incense. I love it. You go check it out. Okay, we okay. gotta paint the toilet though. It's kind of boring. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's see. Maybe we replace the toilet so it's like. Oh my gosh! It's all such. 
<sighs> the ghosts are kind of 3D if you put on 3D glasses. I was trying to like. Oh, so yeah. cool. I love it. Ooh, I love, I love this. Like, this could be like a wallpaper. I love it. <laughs> yeah, the weird eyeballs. I love it. I'm obsessed. I know, the bathroom's kind of my favorite spot. Is it really? Like you did the most like paint work and stuff in here, I feel like. Yeah, when you're tripping in there, it's like. Yeah. It's a whole experience. You're like tripping and then you go to the bathroom, you're just in there. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. What is your art? Is your art part of this too, or is what? Uh, this is uh, mostly uh, Novas. I do electronic uh, music. I have like a little uh, suitcase. I'm, cause maybe I can show it to you. Cause yeah. Cool. yeah. So this is my thing. I bought that with Nova, the bins. And I just gutted it out and put some foam. Oh, wow. And music like that. Uh, I've got a little speaker and everything is on battery so I can bring it everywhere. My artist's name is Shoe Rave. Shoe Rave? Yeah. How do you think of that? It's a root vegetable in French. It's uh, In French, you say Shoe Rave, you know? It's like the be it's like a beetroot, you know, but for cabbage if you, you want to. But uh, if you uh, pronounce it in English, it sounds like Rave. So I was like, oh, Shoe Rave. Uh, that's funny, you know, because I like plants a lot, you know, and I like raves and music. So I thought it was a nice little pun thing. I love it. I love it. That's <laughs> awesome. You. I'm glad you asked because I always thought somebody... Somebody one day is gonna ask me where it's coming from. I'm gonna be like, this is why. You had it ready, yes. <laughs> I go by she, her now, but it took me a while to get to this point. I never really was around any like uh, queers or any queer communities, you know, so I never really got to uh, explore, you know, or I never thought that, I guess. Uh, I was one for some reason. I remember just tripping and thinking about my gender. I was like, yeah, no, I'm just a nothing. And it never occurred to me, you know, that I could like uh, change my pronouns, you know, or like my name and stuff like that. So it really took me a while until I got here and I was like, okay, you know, so I've got definitely not a man. So I'm going to start, you know, experimenting with like uh, non-binary stuff, you know, and then I got to they, them, and I was she, them. And then I was like, oh no, just, just she, her. Like I think I always knew I wanted that, but I like to take small steps and I take a, a long time before getting used to it you know i want to change like my appearance but i really do like one little thing at a time i really think about it so i do it enough until it's feels normal to me like putting nail polish now now it feels normal to me so i can do it anytime in any situation i feel fine with it but here it's really like a safe space where i can experiment with stuff so i try to like learn stuff and become like more confident here in this community and then i try to be strong you know in the normal world this community you're free to explore try mm -hmm. things out see how they fit on you yeah and then once you feel comfortable with that then you can conventure that out into the real world yeah yeah when someone actually knows how to build stuff they usually don't know how to build slabby because they're like it's a whole different experience they're like i don't even know where to begin like all of your shit is like crap and i'm like yes you're building with garbage <laughs> you have to make everything up i love it i love it so creative so this is gonna be our house eventually we do want to still have a fire pit in the middle somehow i don't know how we're gonna do that <laughs> And, oh, can I show you inside? Yes, here? show me so, everything. Uh, yeah. Show me everything. Oh, I love it. Yeah, this one is so cute. It's kind of like, you know, Amelia's uh, hasn't fully moved in yet, but like, it's still like really good inside. Oh my gosh. Right. This is a perfect size for somebody. It's so cute. Yeah. How do you decide like who gets what spot? And is there ever issues with that? Like someone's like, I want that spot. Someone yeah. else is like, I want that spot. Yeah, there's, there has been. Um, it just, I think, depends on the personalities. It's up to you though. Yeah. Are you really close with everyone or does everyone kind of look at you as like the head the head person? Last year it was kind of weird. I feel like I didn't get close with a lot of people. We had a lot of new people and mm -hmm. that's when I kept my distance. We had 25 people last season. Wow. It was just too much. The vibe was weird, you know, with some people and yeah, just a general vibe at the bar. I feel like it was different and this welcoming that really is like so laughing and clowny, you know, and lighthearted, but yeah, it was different. You can come in. It's okay, like cool. pretty... Thank trashed. you. Well, hopefully you can see past the mess. Oh, I, I definitely and can. And see uh, the... Potential. Yeah, the potential. Right? I love it. And this is the bed. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's... I don't know where the mattress went. I don't know if this is... I don't even know if this is still attached. Ooh. A little bit. Oh, it's a mess up here, too. You are more than welcome to come up. Here. Okay, cool. Oh, I love it up here. Oops. You used to feel more solid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too true. Well, oh, we need a beam to go from yeah. the bottom there. Like, uh, I love part, it. Oh, yeah. One, like, but the rest of it's pretty good. I mean, you could like do this. It wiggles. It feels breezy up here. Yeah. yeah. That one's empty, too. So these three are empty. Mm -hmm. But that one, someone trashed so bad. I think it's a biohazard. If you want to know the, the nasty. Yeah. They literally were shitting on things in there. 
I have no idea why it was nothing like malicious, but I'm like, over the summer, yeah, they're in there like shitting on stuff, like the counters. And then living in it? Sinks. Yeah. I don't know if they were living in it anymore. And you didn't know it was happening until you came in t- after they left? Back. Yeah. <sighs> and then you have to clean it? Yeah. <sighs> I mean, people, the rest of the camp stepped up and helped clean, but. Mm-hmm. When you take time off, you're still going to be at the camp though, right? Or you said like next year you're going to not, you're going to step away or. Yeah, I'm going to be gone hopefully the whole season. I want to take a full year away from this place because it's just, the last season was, and the summer was a lot. horrible. Yeah, I can't, I can't keep doing it, you know? It's, I'm like, what, I was trying to think of what I get out of this at this point and I'm like, not a lot. I like spending time with my friends, but I don't even get to do that anymore, really. You know? Is there a part of you that feels, I don't know, like nervous about it? Yeah, it's always when I'm not here. It doesn't even feel like I'm not here. It just feels like I can't do anything about it because people call me and be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I physically like, yeah, can't. I don't know. <sighs> when things are going good, it's like awesome. But when they're going bad, it's, it's really bad usually. You said your pronouns are they, them. Mm-hmm. My early 20s, I decided to go by he, him, and I was taking hormones and uh oh interesting yeah living as a guy and it was pretty great i fucking loved it and then i got robbed (laughs) in seattle my van got broken into and they stole all my stuff including my hormones and i was like well shit because i was traveling and it was kind of hard to get hormones and i just kind of stopped taking them and then i i don't know that specifically made me kind of rethink my gender also for some reason and I thought, you know, I think they, them is a better fit for me because I want to be able to go back and forth and all around with it. I don't want to be, you know, restricted or like... That's interesting. And I've never heard a story about someone who, because they didn't have the testosterone anymore, made, that made them rethink their gender. Yeah, I, I'm not sure why. Did you tell your family your new pronouns and how, mm-hmm. is, how, how did they handle that? My new pronouns are harder because they really want to say he or she. Always. They just really want to do it because they don't understand... Since it's kind of a new concept, people, you know, we're not multiple people, so it's hard to say they, them. Right. My mom struggled with it, but she's doing so much better. When I was he, she struggled with it. I don't know, just some internal stuff, but like always was respectful of it. That's the great. rest of my family, not so good at it. Um, I don't have a lot of family I talk to too much. Is that partly because of the whole gender and all that stuff? Like they don't agree with what what you're doing or? That has caused a riff and some some... Some of my family members, they're not bad people. They're all, my whole family's wonderful. I mean, I think that's healthy. Sometimes you just need to have your boundaries, you know? It's hard to be around them when they're like calling you by your dead name and like misgendering you and it's, it's draining. Yeah. Okay, these are dumpsters and they look perfectly these great. dumpsters yeah. and then we froze them. Yeah, we've been eating these for a while. Okay, well like, we had hella lunch meat, so that was dumpstered. Uh, these, oh yeah, these are dumpstered. Oh my god, oh my yeah. gosh. Right? Yeah. It's so sad that they're just gonna throw them away. It's like, people could, people will eat them. Yeah, yeah. Sure. and I get hella veggies and shit, so like, yeah, veggies big... are easy and safe. You know, you can tell when they're going bad. This, yeah. I'm like, I'm still like, Mm, mm-hmm. But, you know, so far no one's... I feel like veggies are so more common, you know, we get a bunch of veggies all the time, but meat and stuff is more special. Nobody fucking yeah. eats the veggies over here, they just yeah, get gross just, in yeah. a really? so cooler. What, what are these? But it's from last, these are from a slip, uh, and this is from last night. These are dumpstered? No. These are not dumpstered? No. None of them are dumpstered. These are. Mm. That's a, that's Ben's chicken. Oh, there you go, so... <laughs> I was actually wondering how everyone showers. Yeah, well, right now, this is <sighs> this bucket. We had two of these and someone stole the other one, I'm guessing. This one has a fucking hole in it. But anyway, you're supposed to fill this up with hot water, uh-huh. dump it in there, then you use the tank here and you fill the rest with hot water. And we have a USB rechargeable shower and it's like a real fucking shower, just right on you. I love it. Yeah. Thank you both so much yeah, you're welcome. for being open and sharing your story. I like you too. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's I'm always, so fun. I'm always anxious about meeting new people, especially, I guess, like a uh, camera and everything. So I got that you're cool. Thank you. Because know? a lot of people, I feel, try to make videos about Slab City because it's, it's a very cool place. You know, it looks cool and it's interesting. So I don't like all of them, you know, mm. but I like it. Thank you. <laughs> that means a lot. Thank you so yeah. much. I truly love Nova and Lola so much. And watching back the episode, it is clear to me how much their kindness radiates through the camera as well. We still have an episode or two left in my time in Flamingo Camp, so I'm really hoping you're enjoying these episodes. Next week, we will meet Van, 
spend a little more time with the rest of the camp, and delve a little deeper into the unfortunate passing of one of their campmates and how they're all handling it. I hope you're subscribed and I will see you next Sunday.